up everybody it's your boy the kryptonian say in here bringing you a review for one piece chapter 91 now just a quick note now as you guys know i've been buying the one piece volumes but uh, i was at barnes and noble about probably about a month and a half ago right and they had this sale going on where you could buy uh two and get one for free and they got these three in one volumes man so this was pretty cool for me right here because it, it allowed me to get, you know, all the way up to, I believe, volume, volume number 18. So that was pretty cool right there, man. So I won't be doing uh, cover cover shots of the new volumes and I'll still be showing the pictures and everything. But, you know, I just want to you know kind of point that out. I try to you know show the new volume covers each time I do one. So getting into this chapter, man. So it picks up where the last one left off. And to borrow a quote from, you know, my dude, Unexpected Wonder, you know, hey, man, glad to have you, my dude. Uh, make sure you check him out, too, man. Those death battle discussions he got, top notch, man. He goes real in detail. But to borrow a quote from him, that straw hat Luffy D monkey greatness, man, it's on full display in this chapter. And what I'm talking about is the fact that all along is like, how dare you use one of my men as a shield? And Luffy's like, dude, he attacked us first. And that's like Luffy's way of saying, the fuck are you talking about? Of course I'm going to use him as a shield. You think I'm going to let you hit me? Like, just the, the quick-witted responses that Luffy has and the fact that you can tell that this is just how he is. Oh, man, I, I love this, man. I love this. So it makes the sequence of events that happens next that much better because what we end up seeing is, is all along, he's got those teeth and he's, you know, trying to hit Luffy with the teeth. He's got the teeth in his hand and you know, he's just kind of chomp chomping on him, right? And this is the this is what I found really, really interesting, right? Luffy shows a little bit of smarts right here. Now what he does is, is he puts his foot right up against All Long's mouth, right? And that's after dodging the attack and at first I'm like, oh, he got a kick in. And it's not really the case. Luffy was trying to knock his teeth out of his mouth. And that was after, you know, Johnny's like, he's got a key to victory. And if you look, you know, all along, it's basically, like, look, man, my teeth grow back, though, unbreakable. And everybody's like, I can't believe that's your big idea. And then Luffy's like, no, I've got shark teeth, too. And that's, like, freaking hilarious, man, because what happens after that is, is Luffy tries his damnedest to go it all along and basically try and level the playing field. And it's this shot right here that I love, right? Because Luffy gets, you know, his side, a huge chunk of his side been into. And you can tell that it's hurting him, right? But Luffy, right there, he just bites into his neck, man. That's what I'm talking about, man. Like, that's that, that was like a highlight for me right there. Because Luffy, you can tell it's just natural instinct. You know, the, and in a way, he kind of reminds me of Son Goku in that... He's a little unorthodox. And I'm talking about early Dragon Ball, like part one Dragon Ball Goku. You know, he's a little unorthodox when he fights, but you can tell he's just got a natural talent for it, you know? And the crazy thing about this is, is that shows that he's very analytical. He's simple-minded as hell, but he's analytical. He's watching the fight and he's picking out what he can use. You know, he's watching his opponent which shows a whole lot of strategy. And that's one of those intangibles that you need in order to be a captain of anything. So that was that was nice right there to see that. But what ends up happening after this is all along shows them the difference. You know, to use one of those cliche expressions, the difference between us is greater than the difference between heaven and earth. That's basically what this is. All along is like, because I have stronger muscles in my jaw, it's going to hurt when I bite you. It doesn't hurt when you do it to me. And to prove his point, All Along bites into his elbow. And right there he's saying, I can bite through flesh and bone. But Luffy, right here, without even thinking twice about it, Luffy swings his body weight in order to have All Along shoved to the ground instead of pulling back. Because human instinct is you've been bidden us to pull back. He actually overrides that. And I don't know how much of that has to do with the fact that Luffy is part rubber. So because he's part rubber, his pain inhibitors probably aren't the same as ours. He probably doesn't feel the same amount of pain. Because think about it, when a little kid puts a hand on a stove, right, and it's hot, you automatically pull back. And that's the same sense here. 
L Luffy's having his arm damn near bitten off, but instead of jerking back, he has enough self-awareness or maybe he doesn't feel enough pain to that point to where he knows better than to pull back. And Sanji even says that he says it's probably dumb luck. Kaginzo said he could have lost his arm. So I was like, knowing him is probably good, dumb luck. He didn't even think of it. And that for me, that was very refreshing because, again, I, I look at Sanji almost like he's a big brother to Luffy. You know, just that relationship. So that was very nice to nice to catch that. But Arlong, what I mean by he shows he's on a different level than Luffy is this Arlong realizes two things. One, Luffy can't go on the water. And then he realizes, hey, I have an advantage in the water because I'm faster. And so he starts using the shark torpedo and the shark darts in order to attack Luffy from the water. And every time he pops up on land and he gets at him, he's cutting Luffy up. And again, it's just showing great strategy and awareness. That's why I really like this uh, chapter. It shows that both of them are planning stuff out before they do it. And in a way, it kind of reminds me of part one Naruto, back when Naruto actually used fucking substitution jutsus. How the hell did Neji die? You know, we're far enough in the anime, I can say this now. How the hell did Neji die from a fucking back scratcher? Like a Juby sent him a back scratcher, and he didn't think to use a fucking substitution jutsu, but he's a genius. I just leave that right there in case I got some Neji fans. Now I leave that right there. I do a separate. I got a separate video on the war coming later. But here's the thing, right? When Luffy is confronted with the decision to run, like everyone's telling him, which is actually the smart thing, or to stay and fight, Luffy says, "Fuck this! I'm gonna find a way to get him." And that just takes balls right there to be that firm in your conviction, you know. And you know how I feel about that. I feel like if you commit to something, see it through all the way to the end for better or worse. If you screw up, just screw up all the way. So for Luffy just to stand there, that says a lot because I'm looking at I'm looking at this right here. And the foundation has already been wrecked due to previous fights. And now parts of the pool or the area surrounding the pool and that part that goes down to see you, that's starting to crack apart. And I'm really wondering if Luffy's going to find himself in a situation similar to when he fought last time. Because when he fought Don Krieg, Don Krieg had it where he was damn near in the water. And if I'm not mistaken, Krieg did throw Luffy in the water too. Yeah, he did because Sanji had to save him. And nobody's here to save him at this point unless it's Nami. So this is going to be real interesting to see where Oda takes this going forward, man. But... That's it for this chapter review, guys. If you liked anything I had to say, as always, comment, rate, subscribe, and share. I'll greatly appreciate it. My chapter question for you guys is going to be this. If you were Luffy and your arm was caught, would you have had the sense of mind to pull back? No, to not pull back, or would you have pulled back? Let me know. Be honest. I'm going to be like, yeah, man, you know, I wouldn't have pulled back because I would have said, I got to fuck this dude up. Don't, don't lie. Don't lie. If I see a whole bunch of people saying that, I know you're lying. And if it's the truth, then we got a whole bunch of superheroes in this bitch. And if that's the case, that's what's up, man. But again, thanks for watching Kryptonia saying, have an awesome day. Hi.